Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So on Instagram I posted an image, I think it was two or three weeks ago, on um, a feast of vegan sushi. A lot of you wrote to me and wondered how do you make vegan sushi and it's not as hard as you may think so that's why I'm here today to show you how easy it is to make very tasty vegan sushi. So I'm gonna make my three favorite sushi rolls and I'm gonna let you know how to think when you compose a sushi roll. I'm also gonna show you how you make them and yeah, some tips and tricks. So I've already prepped the veggies and the rice. It's just white regular sushi rice which you can find in your supermarket or in the Asian store. So we just rinse it off and uh, simmer it on low heat. It usually says on the package how you cook it. And it's important that you let the sushi rice cool because otherwise it will mess up your sushi rolls. So for three rolls we're gonna make, um, one is called the inside out sweet potato cream cheese roll, one is called avocado inside roll and one is called a dynamite roll. So I've already prepped the ingredients which is sweet potato, it's red bell pepper, spring onion, red cabbage, cucumber, carrot, my favorite coriander. Then we also have some creamy avocado, we have some vegan cream cheese and some roasted garlic, black sesame seeds and kimchi. And this cream cheese is a vegan cream cheese which I bought in our supermarket but I actually have a really good recipe for vegan cream cheese in my recipe app, the Fuzzy Health app, which I will link down below. Then we also of course have nori sheets. This is also something you can find in most supermarkets or you can go to an Asian store where you will find it. So this is like dry algae. Um, um, it's from the sea. So to prepare uh, and to make it less messy I have used a regular plastic wrap and wrapped it all around my bamboo mat. So you will need a bamboo mat if you want. You can also need use a kitchen towel, but it's much easier with a bamboo mat and it's it's pretty cheap. So if you take a close look at the nori sheet, you see there goes lines. So when you're gonna make a um, regular roll, so not uh, the inside out roll, you want to add the rice on the rough side and the shiny side will be facing down. So if you want an easy cutting process in the end, you want the lines to go in the same way you roll it. So in my case, it's this way. So first things first, we're gonna add some sushi rice onto here. To make this as good as possible, you have to use your hands. And the sushi rice is very sticky, so dip your fingers into water and then press it out with your fingers. <laughs> We okay, just have one thing to add before you roll it up or add your toppings is that you, you don't want to press the rice like with all your force. It should be um, some kind of air in between the rice. And you don't want to add the rice uh, all the way up to here because otherwise it will be hard to close it and it will be uh, too big of a bite for one bite. So. So this is the first roll, it's the dynamite roll. So we first have the kimchi, the red bell pepper and the avocado. And then when after we have cut it, we're gonna add some sriracha vegan mayo. So when you make a sushi roll, what I used to think is that you want to have something that's creamy, which is the avocado in this case, and you want something that's has a special flavor uh, or a spicy flavor, in this case it's the kimchi and you also want some crunch which is the bell pepper in this case and all of these flavors work really well together and then we're also gonna add this <laughs> vegan chili mayo on top which is also gonna make it more flavor rich so now we're just gonna roll this up 
There are a lot of techniques rolling a sushi roll and I'm doing it in my way so feel free to copy. I start small so I first roll up a tiny bit of nori sheet and then I attach the veggies to my fingers so they don't escape and we slowly roll over if you can see roll over the veggies while I holding them like that and then you grip the bamboo mat and you want to make this roll as tight as possible so you roll and you pull and you pull the roll back and you roll again pull it back roll again pull it back the whole way and you stop here to take your finger to the water and you put it on the nori sheet this is because the nori sheet uh, will become sticky and stick to the roll so when we have done that we just keep on rolling and there and you can just massage it to make sure that it's even so there we have our first sushi roll so while I prepare the rest I put this in the fridge so that the rice can become more firm. Second roll is the sweet potato vegan cream cheese roll and this is where it gets different because this is an inside out roll so you're gonna make this on a slightly different way but still same. You'll see. <laughs> And uh, before I forget to mention, I actually have all of these recipes on my blog. Yes, I do have a blog. <laughs> it's on the 5 secco It was actually one of the first uh, blog posts that I made of vegan sushi. So you can always check them out there. And I also have them on my Swedish blog. So om du har svensk så kan du kolla på bloggen. <laughs> okay, so this is where it gets different. We're gonna make this to an uh, inside out roll. We're gonna add rice exactly like we did before. We leave um, an inch or two up here, but we're gonna add some black sesame seeds on top. This is mostly because of, yeah, it looks nice like that. Now it's really important that you have plastic foil uh, on your bamboo mat because otherwise this will not work as good. So you're gonna grab the nori sheet up here and you're gonna lift it up and you're gonna flip it over like that. So now we're gonna add our toppings here instead of on the rice. Okay, so the reason why I chose these ingredients was because we want some, first of all, uh, spring onion, sweet potato and uh, cream cheese and roasted garlic really goes well together. It's super yum. And the crunchiness is from the onion, roasted onion or roasted garlic. Uh, a special flavor is from the sweet potato because it's really sweet. Uh, also crunchiness from the onion and a nice flavor and the creaminess comes from the vegan cream cheese. And you don't want to add so much more than this. So I usually go for like three to four ingredients because otherwise the roll will be huge and you won't be able to eat it in one bite. So now we're gonna roll the roll up. <laughs> this is how you roll. After I put this empty nori sheet over first. And then I go after with the mat and I attach the veggies to my fingers and I do the same way as before. I roll slowly and I grab the mat and I keep rolling. Roll and pull back, roll and pull back, roll, pull back and keep rolling. So if you feel that this nori sheet is too long you can always cut it off but I'm just gonna keep rolling and you won't need to add water on this part because the rice is already sticky. There you have an inside out roll. Third roll is the inside out avocado roll. In this case we have a very crunchy roll. It's red cabbage, cucumber, carrot, red bell pepper and some vegan mayo. 
And yeah, I've already added the rice underneath with black sesame seeds and flipped it over. So now we're just gonna roll. I actually forgot my favorite part, fresh coriander. Just gonna add some sprigs. So, now we can roll it up. So, the most fun part about this avocado roll is that we're gonna add avocado slices so that it will look really nice. And to be able to cut in this later, we have to add or wrap it up in plastic. So, to not use too much plastic, I'm gonna reuse the plastic that I had on my bamboo mat. Really, really important that you slice this avocado really thin. Otherwise, the avocado slices will not wrap around the roll. And you will need a really sharp knife. So we just take a slice and add it on top. And we keep going the whole way. And to make these avocados to stick to the sides, we are gonna roll it up in the plastic wrap and put it in the fridge so that it can set. And you wanna wrap it tight. Like that, just roll it over. And make sure that the plastic is tight. This avocado is not a must, but it's a great way to impress your friends. Then you take the ends and you roll it up so that it's tight when you're gonna slice it up. Ta-da! Now I'm gonna slice them all up and you want a really sharp knife. And you also want it wet, so... You can have a glass of water and dip the knife before you go in and slice. The last step is to top the sushi rolls, so for this case it's um, the chili vegan mayo and here we have vegan mayo with roasted garlic and the avocados on top. I really hope you got some inspiration and help on how to make vegan sushi. Let me know which are your favorites. My personal favorite and Ponta's favorite is for sure this one. The, sweet potato, vegan cream cheese, garlic, things that out, roll. Anyways, I uh, hope you liked this video and we'll see you in the next one.